and break this thing down with this Bears offense and defense and how they fare up against the schedule that they have because the schedule is not as easy it may, as it may seem to certain people because they have a couple of stretches that are going to be difficult. And here's what I like about the schedule. It's the sixth easiest in the NFL, uh, mm. according to the you know the preseason projections. That's the third largest improvement in the NFL because last year they had one of the toughest schedules. And another thing that I really like about this schedule, they're the only team in the league that doesn't play a game at a rest disadvantage all season, especially later in the year. That is absolutely crucial. When we analyze the schedule preseason, the net rest advantage or disadvantage is probably one of the biggest factors to determine how difficult or mm -hmm. easy your schedule is. Obviously, the strength uh, of the opponents matters, but that rest advantage is huge. Defensively, yeah. they, they have to improve. They, yeah. they allowed the most points in the league last year, 463, and they generated the lowest pressure rate in the league. So those two things need to go back to center. They need to allow less points, and they need to generate more pressure. They did spend a little bit in the offseason. The Edmonds move, I think, is really good. They bring over the the green dot linebacker from Buffalo at 100 tackles in, in his first five years in the league. Um, and and I like the Yannick Ngakwe move, too. I think that will improve the pressure rate. I think the offensive line is going to be good, too. You know, they were a top mm -hmm. five run block, pass block, win rate team last year. Yep. They brought in a, a free agent, Nate Davis, and they also drafted Darnell Wright in the first yeah. round. So there's certainly a lot of improvements that I can talk about. But it's all Justin Fields. Year three, is he going to take that leap? Is Luke Getze yeah. going to find that coordination, that synergy with the offense? And is Justin going to be able to make those tight throws? I don't know if I have the answer to those questions right now.